If you want a Mandalay Bay review and tour, keep watching this video. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. All right, guys, it's time to check in. I'm gonna try to do the slide, the front guy, a 20, and I'm kind of nervous because I've tried this at the Luxor before, and I don't know why it just didn't work there. I think the girl was new, but I'm gonna try it again here, see if we get any type of upgrade. Hello, how's it going? Good, yourself? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, sir. Is there any other like uh, complimentary upgrades that you have? Um, Better room or anything? Let me see if I can get you a strip view, okay? Sweet. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, that'll work. I got a strip view for you, okay? Sweet, yeah. All, All right. right, thank you. Oh, appreciate it, Thank wrong. you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Let's have a good on. one. Thank you, sir. All right, so we did the slide the 20 trick and we got upgraded to a strip view. So let's go check out our room. everything costs money so close that fridge yeah. up the samsung tv got the desk we got the little guy loves it <laughs> like that view already that view. let's check out the view uh -oh, there's our strip view upgrade Ooh. almost said free upgrade but it was a 20 dollar upgrade <laughs> you know, i'm gonna say the bathroom is big you have a huge mirror and two Papa, how he likes it. <laughs> the number one show here at Mandalay Bay is Michael Jackson, The One. Okay, so inside of Mandalay Bay, there is a food court and it's located right next to the Shark Reef. They have a bunch of restaurants right here, Subway, Pan Asian, Nathan's Famous, Johnny Rockets, and they have Bananos New York Pizzeria. We're here at Citizen's Kitchen and Bar, and I think I'm gonna try the classic cheeseburger. And I'm gonna get the fish and chips. a lot of fine dine restaurants here at Mandalay Bay. It's on the first floor next to the casino, next to the west entrance. Like behind me, we have Lupo. And Red Square. Ariole. Floor. Komi Japanese. Libertine Social. And they also have strip steak. Now we are at the shops at Mandalay Bay Place and they have all kinds of shops here. They have restaurants, they have bars, and it actually leads all the way to the Luxor. So if you're trying to get to the Luxor, this is the perfect place to get there.
Okay, right now we are on the tram. It goes from Mandalay Bay to the Luxor, then it goes to the Excalibur, and it is 100% free, so you could jump on. It's nice when it's nice and hot in Vegas to jump on some that has AC, and you could get there quick and for free. If you want something just quick and simple, just to grab and go, come to Citizens, and they have a bunch of fruit, bakery, pastries, coffee, and tea. If you guys like Starbucks, you're in for a treat. There's three Starbucks here at Mandalay Bay. One is right next to the event center. And then actually the second one is a small kiosk and that's right next to this one behind me. And the other Starbucks is right next to the shops at Mandalay Bay. Okay, so the real reason I'm staying here at Mandalay Bay is because my best friend Patrick's getting married here at Mandalay Bay and I'm actually in the chapel right now. It's about to go down. I'm about to show you guys what I'm wearing. If you guys like what I'm wearing, please give me that thumbs up like. Come to husband and wife. <laughs> Made it to the Bayside Buffet for adults it's $26 for kids it's $21 it looks delicious and I'm about to go grab something to eat everything all the vegetables they had over there here is fried rice chicken and these are like chicken nuggets with the orange with orange sauce so I wanted to try them vegetable roll and corn baked chicken I got some tater tots I got some uh, corn dogs that are made out of chicken and some French toast this is tiramisu. Really good. <laughs> to my opinion about Mandalay Buffet is that it is okay. It's not the greatest, to be honest. They have a lot of different food. They have salads, they have breakfast, they have everything here, but it's not that tasty maybe so there's three main pools here at the mandalay bay and the first one i'm going to show you guys is the lazy river which i'm actually walking in right now um you need a floaty really to enjoy it and we're kind of just walking around because we don't have a floaty so the floaties are very limited. If you get a cabana, they just hand them out. So um, people kind of hog them all day. So be aware of that or bring your own floaty next time. That way you guys can enjoy it a little bit better. All right guys, we're at the pool number two and it is pretty large. Um, there's a lot of room here. A lot of people could fit here. It's temperature controlled. So it's nice and warm in here. Not like the lazy river. I saved the best for last this is the third pool and they actually call it a beach for obvious reasons because they have the beach sand here they have the beach waves and it is the best beach here in my opinion or pool They do rent out day beds and cabana starting at $200, but that is the premium weekend price. So I'm sure it goes down a little bit on the weekday, but be ready to pay $200 or more on the weekend. For those that are wondering, they do have a bar here and you could actually order by the poolside because they have waitresses here as well. If you guys get hungry while you're here at the pool, go to the beach bar and grill. spot next to the pool they have fall specials and the less expensive one is the pumpkin pumpkin body scrub 25 minutes for $90 and it goes up to 15 minutes 160 if you guys are interested in coming to the shark reef aquarium it's $25 
per adult, $19 per kid. They have all kinds of different fishes here. They have sharks and it also includes the polar journey. Good news for all you NFL fans, more specifically the Raiders, because the Raider Stadium is built right next to the Mandalay Bay. It's gonna be less than a 10 minute walk. All you're gonna have to do is park here, Mandalay Bay, and then you're gonna go where Hacienda Avenue is. That's gonna be a walkway. They're gonna actually shut that street down every time the Raiders play. And then you just walk, and here's the stadium. Look how close it is to Mandalay Bay. The only bad thing I see is prices going up, especially that Sunday night. Hotels here in Las Vegas are usually cheap on Sunday nights, but when the Raiders are going to play, probably not. Yeah.